Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome. I thought we would do a little craft with me and while I talk about kind of my channel updates for this year, it's kind of a goal update for last year, what my goals and plans are for this year, and just some other uh, business things for the year. But first off, I will say I am working on a birthday, an old birthday collection, and I needed to donate there's a group, local group, that I started donating cards to last year, and they requested some more birthday cards, which I didn't have many of, so I thought I would work on using up this collection and get their birthday cards made. And I am not going to explain the process, but I will say I used a combination of three and a half by five inch card size as well as the regular A2 four and a quarter by five and a half. I had a bunch of those smaller card bases already made up and thought I would go ahead and use them. So you will see a mix of those in here and just kind of my whole process of start going through the paper and figuring out where to start. And I believe this will be a two-parter because it's taking me longer to get through it than I thought. There's the paper is just going a lot further than I thought. So I wanted to sit down and before the end of January and kind of talk about how things ended last year goal-wise, kind of what my plans were for goals this year and also plans for my channel. So last year, my overall goals were to continue to use up items from my stash. So the paper pads, the stickers, embellishments, and card kits, those were specific items that I had wanted to use up. I did end up using 24, like of 24 pads or collections. So those are 12 by 12, six by six paper pads or like the Echo Park collection kits. I used up a ton of sticker sheets and embellishments and I used up three card kits that I had. So that's probably the only area that I would have liked to have done better in were the card kits. So. Oh, and also my other big goal was to finish scrapbooking 2013 and 14 pictures, and I did. I It was right at the end of the year, but I did finish that. So looking forward to 2022, a lot of those goals are the same. I can want to continue to use up my paper pads, so like at least one pad or collection a month, hopefully more. Last year it averaged out to about two per month. And then just, you know, using embellishments from my stash because I have so many old embellishments that I want to use and make room for new fun items. And then kits, I want to focus more on kits this year and try and work through some of those. And then I want to finish 2015 and 16 photos this year. And that's probably a lofty goal because I had already started, I was about halfway through 2013 at the beginning of last year. So I did about a year and a half's worth of photos. So two years is kind of a lofty goal, but I kind of want to shoot for that, you know, get as far as I can. And then if I, you know, finish up in the next year, that's fine. But I really do want to get as far as I can on those photos. And I've always kicked myself for being so far behind on scrapbooking my photos, but I kind of realized it's fun. You know, now that my girls are getting older, it's so fun to go back and see those pictures of when they were young. So it's kind of worked out fine. As far as channel plans for 2022, I did a lot of collaborations last year, last two years, and they were a lot of fun and they did really help me work through a lot of the stash that I had wanted to work through. But it... it as far as scheduling other types of videos, I feel like I had so many collaborations, it was hard to fit in other videos throughout the month. So I do still have a few collaborations that I'm doing this year, but I cut back on my collabs a lot. So there are still a few I'm doing, like Smash Our Stash, that is my collaboration where we're using up, you know, focus on using up a different part of our stash each month. Still doing the sheet load of cards, basic gray, Joy of Blue, and I think those are the only official collaborations. And then there's like some other collaborations that I um, plan on doing like one off with some some good crafty friends. So, and then I'm on the design team now for Not Too Shabby, 
shop. So you will see videos of theirs pop in a couple times a month. But since I'm doing less collaborations, that really gives me more freedom to do different types of videos. So I hope to incorporate more process videos, a few more tutorials, you know, maybe behind the scenes kind of things. But I want to give you guys, you guys always ask for more process videos. So I do want to try and give you that this year. And then I will kind of mix in. I'm going to share like each time I kill a pad or a kit, I'm going to share it. So some months that share may be the whole process. Some months that share may just be, you know, what I made with it, just the project share. And it may vary like if I'm working on a kit each month and a pad each month, one of those may be a process that month, one may just be a project share, and then the next month it might flip flop. So there will be some full processes, but then there will also just be some project shares because sometimes I'm working through things so fast, it's just easier to like do the projects and then share them with you at the end. So all just depends on what I have going on at the time. So then just wanted to talk about some other content ideas. Um, obviously, my the goal of my channel is to share paper crafting inspiration and ideas to help you use up like your crafty stash. Like that has always been my main goal. That's the reason I started my channel. And that is still my main focus. But I didn't know, like I get a lot of questions about craft shows and like other aspects of things that are going on. And so I didn't know if you guys would have any interest in like other DIY projects that I might be doing um, or like a like a day in the life kind of thing to show how I incorporate homeschooling with the business, with crafting that, you know, along those lines or any other type of business videos. Like I'm not going to stray too far from paper crafting and I'm not going to do it all the time, but I didn't know if there were any of those other interests that you guys had that I could pepper in for you if you wanted. And I thank you guys so much for all of your support. Um, I think I've been on YouTube for five years, maybe six. And I never thought that I would be where I am today. Like just when I started this, it was just more of an accountability outlet for me and a way that I could hopefully inspire others that were in the same situation. So I have made so many good friends through having this channel and it's just been such a great experience. And I have you all to thank for that. You've all been so supportive and encouraging and I love each and every one of you for that. And I wanted to say Thank you for those of you who have supported my channel in any way. And as a note from being a YouTuber, we basically put out free content for you all. Uh, it's what we make through ads is very small. And so very rare cases do people ever make a living off of just making videos and using the ad revenue. But it is free education and entertainment for you as a viewer. And so there are a few ways that you could, not just me, like any YouTuber that you like, there are a few ways that you can support us free, like at no charge to you. So anytime you like a video, comment on a video, those are great ways to support us. It just helps us be seen more like in the YouTube universe subscribing is great because then that gets us in your feed more often and then maybe in other feeds more often anytime you share a video or a channel that's an another amazing free way that you can support us and then if you're already shopping there are many of us that have affiliate links so like if we talk about products in the video and we say it's linked below a lot of times it may be affiliate links and that just means that we get a very small commission off of any purchase you make through that link again it's nothing major and it's no cost to you no extra cost to you so if you're already going to be shopping 
at whatever place like Amazon or My Favorite Things or scrapbook.com or wherever, you know, by using one of our links, it doesn't cost you any extra, but it helps us out just a little bit more. It's just, you know, any of the commissions that I make end up going back into my channel, like for supplies and, you know, usually it's for like consumable supplies, like um, adhesive or trimmer blades. Those I go through those a lot. So those are just some ways that you can support not just me, but any channel without, you know, it costing you any additional um, money, I guess is a way to say it. So kind of switching to the business side of my channel a little bit, I wanted to touch on sponsorships and affiliations. I don't do a whole lot of sponsored videos it, just because the requests I get don't fit very well with my channel. So I know sponsorships are a very touchy subject between viewers and content creators just because viewers tend to think that the creators are selling out when they do a sponsorship and that's not it it's, at all. Again, I touched on the fact that YouTubers, we don't make very much at all just by posting a video. And so we have to kind of make up for that in other ways. And so the affiliate links, the sponsorships are how we can, you know, even not, not even just making money. Sometimes it's just trying to recoup some of the costs that, you know, we've made by using our time or buying the supplies and the tools and all that. So sponsorships. I don't do a whole lot of them, but when I do, please know that I do vet them. I think about it. I make sure they're a good fit for me or my channel. Uh, the ones I did last year, did I, or one of them that I've done before, which was kind of a stretch, but it was fun and it was a good fit for me, was Thread Tank. And they, you know, made shirts like they had shirts with fun sayings and that's totally me like the quirky um, snarky funny sayings like that's totally me and that's something that I share that side with you guys a lot through my videos so just know that it's not selling out when you see a sponsored video it's more of us just trying to recoup some costs and um, pay ourselves for our time a, a little bit but and then affiliate videos, I do do quite a few of those as long, again, as long as they're crafty related. And I do try and work with a company, try to find something that's like a, a good fit for me. So just know that those are vetted as well. Um, oh, something else new that I've added. Again, another way you can support me is I recently discovered the Buy Me a Coffee site. And it's a link that I'll include it in, try to include it in my descriptions for the videos, but it's also included on my channel banner. And it's just a way that you can, it's not a membership. It's just a way that you can, if you like my content, you can support me, you can donate a coffee, which is, you know, just the saying, it's just kind of like you're donating you know, like a dollar, five dollars, whatever, to my channel, but then you can also leave a comment as to why you like my channel or maybe what I have done for you. So that's another way that you can support me. And I've added a few freebies out there on that Buy Me A Coffee page and will hopefully can add some other things out there for you all as well. But again, I appreciate all that you guys have done for me so far and anything that you do in the future. Like I'm not, this isn't about the money. I just wanted to offer, like, I don't really ever talk about this. I don't ever say, oh, you know, at the, every video, I don't say subscribe to my channel. Um, sometimes I do, but a lot of times I just don't. I thank you for your time because I really do appreciate your time, spending your time with me that particular day. And so I just thought I would kind of get this all out of the way in one video and touch on that with you guys. I think the last business thing that I wanted to talk about was um, I have a Facebook group, which is always linked in my description box, and it's called Crafting with Bourbon Creek. And in there, it is a group about you, like my subscribers, my crafty friends. 
I get to share my projects with you guys all the time, but you don't always get to share them with me. So this group is a way that you can share your projects. You can post in the group. You can ask questions. Again, it's really about you. And this year, we have added a lot, added in a couple different challenges. So you can play along with Smash Our Stash in that group. And then there are monthly challenges based on using tools. So I asked the group what kind of tools that they had that they didn't remember to use a lot. So it's things like embossing folders or paints and pastes, things like that. So Smash Our Stash is about your actual crafty papers and embellishments, but then the challenge in my Facebook group is about tools. So if you would like to play along with that, you are welcome to come on to Facebook, um, join the group. There's a couple questions you have to answer and then I can let you in, but that's just kind of an extra way to motivate you each month to work on focusing on some things in your stash that might be forgotten. One thing that I recently tried that was really fun and I do want to try again are premieres. It was just a fun way to be able to chat with you guys live. I don't get to do that very often. So hopefully I can do some more of those this year. And beyond that, um, what, like, is there anything else paper crafting that you guys would like to see for me? Like, I know my strengths and I know what I'm best at sharing. So if you guys have some ideas and I can fit them within that area, then I would love to incorporate those for you. So please just let me know that in the description box below or in the comment boxes below. But sorry for the rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed the process. Um, thank you for letting me get some of the business stuff out of the way for the year in this video. And if you have any questions on anything, let me know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I would love to hear them. And again, links for my Facebook group will be in the description box below. So if you want to join in on Smash Our Stash over there or the monthly challenge using your tools, we would love to have you. It's a very welcoming, encouraging group. And I thank you guys so much, not just for your time today, but for everything. Um, like I said, I would not be here if it were not for you. You guys are what make this channel um, what it is, and you make it fun for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you all have a very crafty day.